Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. Today it's not going to be a gaming video as such. I'm celebrating three years on YouTube or at least I did back on August the 7th. So yeah today's video is going to be looking back at what I've done over the last three years and I've also asked a few people to say a few things about themselves and what they think about me. These are people that I've interacted with a lot over the past year in particular but yeah let's get into it. So back in 2017, I decided to create a gaming channel, obviously, um, but I've been watching a lot of the Sidemen and also Chris MD. Uh, so this got me into the want to create FIFA content, similar to what they did, but I've never been good at online games. Uh, so consequently, I decided to opt for career mode, where I started a series called Brown Aldo. Now, this was a combination of both my name and Cristiano Ronaldo's name. It was essentially a challenge to beat all the stats that Ronaldo had for Manchester United spanning across six seasons. That content can be very hard to create constantly and I found myself getting bored so then I expanded onto games such as Deadpool. Uh, really enjoyed playing that. In fact, it's probably one of my favourite Marvel games uh, and I'm glad I played that first. That, that boredom then led on to Dead Space as well. And finally, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, where I just played through the games in their entirety. Getting bored with FIFA then led to me going on to Madden, which is actually my preferred sports game in terms of playing online or even career mode. Um, and yeah, I did, a, I did an ultimate team um, review for, I think it was Madden 17 and Madden 18. That led on to Madden 19, where I had an ultimate team series, uh, where it was like essentially a road to glory. Uh, spoiler alert, there was no glory. And because I'd got frustrated with playing online, I then turned that into a career mode series as well, which was undrafted to MVP, uh, which was actually probably my favorite series that I've made. Uh, one that I certainly put the most time and effort into. The Undrafted to MVP series was the early 2019. And that's roughly when I started changing the content on my channel. FIFA had been completely eradicated at this point. Um, I got completely bored and didn't actually finish um, the series. This led to my Flashback Friday series, which was a long-standing series from February 2019 all the way through to June, July 2020. Uh, and also the start of Weird Wednesdays, which started with Resident Evil 2. That series is still going, not Resident Evil 2, mind you. I've been playing a multitude of games within that time frame. Currently, Lollipop Chainsaw. Finishing my Madden series, I still wanted to keep the sports element on my channel, so I decided to go for Match Day Mondays, which essentially ended up being a few random football games and also... Um, onto Rugby 08 for the World Cup. But then with me taking away the sports content, uh, I transitioned to Marvel Mondays, which at first was full playthroughs of games. So uh, a couple of games that I'd featured on my Flashback Friday series, uh, including Spider-Man from the PS1. I continued was it, uh, from that point. And also Thor, God of Thunder, that came back from Flashback Fridays onto Marvel Mondays, and I played through that. Finishing with a full playthrough of Captain America Super Soldier. Those two games there that I finished the, the full playthroughs of, of Thor and Captain America, people hadn't really heard of, uh, which was cool because it meant that people were seeing it and were like, wow, didn't know this existed. Um, Marvel Mondays then carried on as a single video for each game. Uh, so I had, I had loads spanning from the PS2 Hulk game to... Um, Iron Man 2 on the Xbox 360, all differing in terms of how I enjoyed them. Literally, I think I played them for like about half an hour, 45 minutes a piece, and then made a video from it. It was, it was tough. You know, some of the, some of the games were awful. But finishing uh, Marvel Mondays, I went on to a series that I started around the beginning of 2020, which was Monday Night at the Movies. And that is probably one of my favorite series that I've done outside of Undrafted to MVP. There really were a lot of movie games back in the late 90s to early 2000s. And uh, yeah, it's just been fun to go back and play through them, particularly uh, Die Hard uh, or the Die Hard trilogy, 
should I say, and then of course there were all of the Harry Potter games that were released over the years. But with Marvel Mondays coming to a close, Flashback Fridays also came to an end. That's probably the one that's been the toughest to drop, I think, of all the series that I've had because it, it was fun to go back and play old games. I mean, it ran for around 74 weeks or something like that with a total of 66 videos in that time where I'd taken little breaks here and there. So it's definitely my longest standing um, series. But that led to First Try Fridays becoming a thing where I'm playing newer games again. Uh, in particular, um, recently it's been The Last of Us. I uh, never played that on PS3 and I played the remastered version on PS4. A freaking awesome game. Uh, and also things like lesser known games such as Flockers, uh, which is essentially Lemmings. You are the super sheep from Worms. And the latest one being Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, of course, a very popular game. I just wanted to get into that. In the first couple of years of me being on YouTube, I didn't really interact with too many people. It was more um, arrogance more than anything, thinking that a, that, a, that a following would just occur. I really didn't know what I was doing in the first couple of years that I was creating videos. And then back in 2000, and, well, back in early 2019, um, I was contacted by Nick at GamerTube. We were both playing Resident Evil 2 as a part of our series and uh, yeah, we started watching each other's content and it's been a you know, a, a thriving um, relationship since then, not just with Nick, but also the other guys at GamerTube, uh, Jade and Jordan. They 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 quickly became one of my favorite um, channels on YouTube and I cannot speak more highly of them. I think for the amount of content that they put out, the quality is outstanding. You get some channels where the quality diminishes the more content that they put out, but for these guys, honestly, I don't think I know a more hardworking trio. Jordan has so many great ideas and does so many great things for the channel without really getting too much recognition for it because you always see Nick and Jade as the people in the forefront. Um, Nick does a lot of the editing, does some awesome, awesome, um, animation work for Spooky with Jade in particular and yeah Jade is just an excellent front front woman for the gang honestly if you don't watch any more of this video then make sure you go and check them out uh, there'll be a card above and a link in the description as well um, but yeah honestly the best channel on, on YouTube and I really have enjoyed uh, getting to know them uh, not only through YouTube, but also through social media. I would I would honestly call them friends now, like through having interacted so much over the last year and a half. And then around June last year, I joined a, a Facebook group uh, for like-minded YouTubers where we're just trying to broaden our audiences. And within that, I met the guy who runs Moshman Gaming. And Moshman makes, honestly, the best content for survival-based games such as Ark, Atlas, and also other games like Star Citizen. There was one day, it ended up being, where I binge-watched his entire um, The Story of Ark series. Um, there was 15 episodes ranging from 10 minutes to sort of 30 minutes an episode, and I honestly sat back after watching all of that and think it and thought where the hell did my day go just absolutely got lost in it and it was it was awesome and speaking of gamerjube and moshman i asked them if they would kindly say a few things um for this video i asked them a couple of questions to start with and i also asked them to give their thoughts on both me and my channel or whatever they want so yeah we're going to get into that Nathie B asked me to make a little clip for him and go through a few questions to celebrate his three years on YouTube. And I just wanted to say a massive well done, dude. It's um, it's a grind. It's a good grind, but it is a grind a little bit on YouTube. So to stick in for three years and keep going with it, man, that is awesome. Keep it up. Um, what's my favourite things with YouTube and being a YouTuber? Um, just the whole process. I love just making videos, like the recording them. I like trying to work out in my head as I'm doing it, like what I want the video to come out like. 
Um, and that's really something I picked up the further through I went to start with. I was just recording stuff and then like spending ages editing it, <laughs> and it was taking me a long time. But um, yeah, I enjoyed the like learning process. I guess that's what I'm getting at. I enjoy like learning different things and um, like I said, like laying out a video in my head and then making it happen and then seeing the end result. And then it's exciting seeing what the video does and if it starts off slow, can you like improve things like change thumbnails, change um, the search engine optimization stuff, um, like little things like that. And then when you change the little things, like if you see the video start picking up pace and doing a little bit better, it's um, really satisfying. And I really like that aspect of it from a creative side. And obviously the other side of it is I just really like getting to know other content creators for one and also interacting with people in the comments and things like that um yeah it's just just a good experience and most mostly positive as well like so um yeah it's, it's the whole experience i guess i really like um, my favorite experiences from youtube so far have been seeing um there's at least three people off the top of my head um the geordie nerd beardo benjo and survival bob um seeing guys like that that when i started watching them i think geordie nerd was on like i think he was on like 700 subscribers and i think beardo was on somewhere around that mark maybe 500 something like that and then all of a sudden like they just got these videos and they were like almost at the same time it was like within a couple of weeks of each other i think um and you just see this video go out and it just goes massive and it just snowballs and keeps going and going and going and they just get like the views the subscribers and it's not all about that but like the what i mean by that is it's like awesome to see it because as another content creator it's really inspiring i agree totally with moshman there was it i think seeing people blow up that you've had interactions with um very much like beardo uh, as he said and for me gamer um yeah i i totally agree with that 100% seeing other people blow up because you're happy for them is is definitely a great experience. Um, I'm really drawn to people that are like seem like-minded or can see in their content that they put in as much effort as I do and um, you know really work at it and to see people just kind of blow up even if it's you know like I mean to me that's big like to go like they I can't remember what they're on at the moment but like I think Beardo's on like over 6,000 subscribers and things like that. It's amazing to see and then recently um uh someone who's become a good friend of mine survival bob i see he i started chatting to him when he had like 90 something subscribers um he put out one video uh, like a help video for no man's sky and it's gone over a hundred thousand views already and he's on like nearly seven thousand subscribers um and that was like literally overnight it was he went from 90 something subscribers to 1k in like a couple of days and then from there he went to over 6,000 within um, four or five weeks, I think it was. And it's just crazy. And it's things like that are a really nice experience to one be part of it because like, like I said, like you started watching them like way before that. And also knowing that you're doing, um, although you're like, doing different content, like you're working as hard as them and you're doing the same thing. So you know that you're doing the right stuff because you're seeing you're seeing the end result of it with other people. Yeah, that's I think they've been my best experiences like recently to see that and to just be like kind of blown away and inspired by it. So yeah, I really like that. Um Nafy B I discovered I think through Twitter he was the video I first see, I believe it was um from the four game. And um because it was four game, I didn't know there was a four game, so I, I clicked on it and watched it. And um, yeah, I was like, oh, this is awesome. And obviously, I'm pretty sure that was the first video I see. It might have been one before that, but that's the first one that comes to mind. And um, yeah, like he just come across really well on camera. And you could tell when I went back and looked at some of his other videos and obviously carried on watching him. You can see like where he, the effort he puts in and just keeps doing what he enjoys. And that's really important. Um, you know, I think that's a great thing to see. The guys that I mentioned earlier that uh, you, I said that I watched like start doing really well overnight. They're all doing stuff as well that they just enjoy rather than necessarily something like super mainstream. And um, yeah, it's I just like I said, I get drawn to people that you can clearly see are on the same mindset as me as far as like work ethic, I guess. 
And um, yeah, he's a really nice dude, comes across really well, always positive interacting with him. And um, yeah, he's just a great guy. And to see him being on there for three years, uh, long may it continue, dude. Congratulations, well done. And uh, yeah, thanks for asking me to do this. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, keep up the great work, buddy. Thanks, Moshman. They were some really nice words. Um, yeah, Moshman's one of, the, as I say, one of the best uh, content creators for uh, Ark and Atlas, etc. I really appreciate what you said there, mate. Like you say, seeing like-minded people um, succeed is awesome, and I'm glad that you see me as a hardworking person too. Three years is a long time on YouTube for somebody who does it as a as a spare time hobby it will continue and i will continue to be in your streams and watch your videos my friend hi guys it's jordan jade and nick from game with Jube here and uh we want to say congratulations to nathy v for his three years anniversary and uh yeah he's asked us to pop onto this video to answer a few questions he has for us so uh that's what we're here for so the first question is what do you love about being a youtuber slash having a youtube channel Ooh. So, uh, Nick, we can throw it to you. Just that we get to do what we like together, mm. the three of us, you know mm. what I mean? It's like, it's a lot of structure to our weekend, you mm. know, we get to do what we like to do, film mm. it, capture it. We've had some really funny moments as well, caught on camera. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, that's what I like about it the most, that we come together, do what we love. Hopefully we can continue to do it a lot more. Yeah, what about you, Jade? Um, yeah, definitely seeing a lot of, like, what you guys can create. Like, I haven't laughed so hard in years as I have mm. with doing this stuff with you guys. And it's just really funny to see maybe the animating and editing and mm. all that come together and how silly and fun the moments can be. So, I really enjoy that. Yeah, I think I like that too. Like, obviously, enjoy meeting people in the community like Nathy mm. and other people. And in, just sort but of talk. we otherwise would have never met. Exactly. And yeah, just no. talking about games. But I, I don't think you can take away from the fact that it's just fun just being with uh, three, of the, uh, two of the best people and just enjoying making content and having fun with it. So that's always going to be the best part. Mm. But there's always tons of good positives about it. Mm. But so the second question, what are your favorite experiences since being on YouTube? Ooh, okay. Um... I can start. Uh, yeah. Kind of similar, but uh, meeting people through here mm. has been really mm. awesome. Um, I've always struggled in my real life to uh, mm. find friends with a lot of common interests, and maybe they'll like gaming like a little bit, but you know, not enough to be in this world of like you mm. know talking about it, playing it, laughing, like you know, just really enjoying this kind mm. of environment and community and uh yeah the kind of people i've met through here i can really relate to and call genuine friends mm. jade makes a really good point there i'm very much the same um i know a lot of people that like to game not necessarily too many that want to be involved in gaming what about you, Nick? yeah i reckon uh, like a lot of shared experiences it's it's great to see how much of us are all commenting on each other's videos and watching and getting engaged and stuff as well and it's like mm. in this community we're all watching our videos and stuff as well you know what i mean like it's, we're all watching we're all watching <laughs> no. but yeah, it's, it's it's cool how mm. you know we're all checking each other's stuff out mm. and you know we're all getting like tips and tricks from each other and we're enjoying each other's gameplay mm. and stuff we're like, consumers at the end of the definitely day right. we're, we're all... consuming each other you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh. but yeah yeah, like, uh, I think my favorite experience is just doing the same thing over and over again. It just doesn't get old. But, like, playing new games together and, pl like, playing my favorite games, but yeah. seeing you guys experience it. Like, I love the first time ever to see Jay play Bloodborne or Nick play some upcoming games like Dying Light and stuff. And they yeah. generally don't know what to expect. expect. Mm -hmm. And just ex just sharing the experience of games with, with them, too, is really fun. And also just enjoying games in a different way instead mm -hmm. of just, like, I, I'm not an online gamer. So I don't really usually play a ton of that. Like, I, yeah. I did, but nothing crazy. So it, that's always a nice aspect, yeah. but I like that. Yeah. And lastly, the most important question is, what are your thoughts on Nathy or me? Okay. And can it be about anything, interactions with me, content, or anything in between? Okay. It could be intimate, could be not, could be anything you mm. want, Nick. <laughs> so what you go, you go, Nick, first. Have you physically been mm. to England mm. and met him? I have. Mm. I yes. touched him. Touched him. <laughs> Look, we were going to tell you. <laughs> the flesh mm. but yeah he's an all-around positive mm. dude like i haven't met someone who's like like we've seen someone on youtube who's like he's always been a really positive dude in our channel and it's always awesome to see him in those comment mm. sections brightens up my day reading mm. him as well like it's such a nice guy mm. and also your videos as well whether it's like you know the weird wednesdays and all that stuff mm. and like the monday night movies as well 
Like, it's so cool to see. And the retro stuff kind of, when I watch it, kind of reminds me of what I used to play as well. Mm. Like, all the diehard games you were playing and all that. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Jade? Um, yeah, I, I find you, Nathan, to be uh, probably one of the kindest people I've ever met. <laughs> You're just really nice to each of us, and I appreciate that you you like every aspect of Game of You like Jordan, you like Nick, you like me, mm. all equally, and it just... I, I really appreciate your support since pretty much day one. You have found us really early. Really early being, like, s under 100 subs, I'm pretty sure. And I, I really cannot thank you enough for always being there for us and... We always get to see your, your comments and um, and just chat with you on Twitter mm. and stuff. But it, honestly, it, it means so much more than mm. you could imagine. Like, we feel like we are friends with you. We could just come over and hang out, except that you live, like, a bunch of kilometers away. So <laughs> just, just a bunch of kilometers. Just a bunch. Yeah. Just yeah. Not, yeah. not that many. Too far down the block. It's about 17,000 kilometers between us. Uh, you're more than welcome to come over. But <laughs> unlikely to be very soon. But yeah, no, nah, I agree. Nathie's kind of like nostalgia. He's just like always. Like, it's just it feels good like to, yeah. to hang out, yeah. like talk to Nathie. He's a really yeah. just, just just you're just a genuinely nice person. It's like yeah, it just feels good. He's always always amazing. He's like probably the like most genuine guy you can meet. I don't yeah. think I don't think Nathie has a nasty bone in his body. Like no, no. he's just, just trying to be happy and make yeah. others happy. It's and it's like nice. yeah, there's so much negativity out in the community. Yeah. It's nice to feel like it doesn't like it doesn't feel fake or contrived with Nathie. No, it's like right. I, I think that you're just that's, having a good time. Mm. Yeah, I, I like that. Some you know, really bad dad jokes from his brother. Just yeah, you know? like yeah, and even the con awesome. like the Nathy's content's awesome. Like yes. I, yeah. as Nick said, it reminds me of not only like he, Nathy plays you you are, were addressing you I guess you play mm. retro games, but I don't think it's just the games that remind no. me of like being it's just it's such a wholesome kind of content i don't also, know why it just feels it's nice the memories as well like even yeah when you were, we were watching like mm. the 40 winks gameplay and all that yeah, stuff yeah. as well you know what and mean? also um like what you said having his experience on a game that mm. you have like a past experience with like when yeah. we were watching him play that muppets yeah. Dracula game. Uh, that was yeah, so yeah. good. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. it's the wholesome like watching yeah. Nathy react to games is just fun in itself. Because Nathan's so, such a genuine person, like you feel yeah. like I think you feel like every interaction with the game is genuine and pure. Mm -hmm. Like you're watching him play Lollipop Chainsaw, and just sometimes Nathan's blase response to the craziness <laughs> of screen. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. And he's like, yeah. It's so you awesome. know, like uh, one of the quotes that we say um, all the time comes from Nathan is um, Which you one? love to see it. Like yeah. literally comes yeah, from Nathan. Yeah. I heard Nathan say you love to see it so much. <laughs> it's so genuine when it comes it. from him. Like yeah. it's such a wholesome. He's such a yeah. wholesome guy. So it's it's nice too have someone so wholesome in the community and, and, and to like us so much like it feels yeah, it's so, so over, yeah it's very like overwhelming but it's a, like to, in a nice way to be fair it would be pretty overwhelming when I've watched four or five videos in a night and you've got over a hundred comments from me <laughs> I'm not gonna stop that I won't change. I mean, it's always nice to see that little bitmoji boy with the phone. Oh, yeah. With the phone yeah. like number one. Yeah hand. boy. <laughs> but yeah other than that though this is our first like proper collab with Nathie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he's always been great to us. He's got a great YouTube channel that's definitely had loved. He deserves way more subscribers, way more definitely viewers. Right. Yeah. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification and, and bell. Such a, su such a supporter with, like, uh, never asking for anything back. Like, no. I, I like watching yeah. Nathie's content. I do watch Nathie's content Just yeah. Yeah. When, whenever I, I can, and then yeah. there's something that piques my interest for the most part. But I don't feel like there's ever any pressure that he expects us to or wants us to no. if we don't want to. Nathie's got, like, Keanu Reeves energy, you know what I mean? Just oh, like, yeah. like he does. Like, it's like that kind of wholesome... Yeah. Like, I just want to see it. I want to see your day-to-day -day life in Nathie B. He's just... <laughs> I want to see Nathy grumpy, you know what I mean? What's a grumpy Nathy boy? I want to see like? Nathy be surrounded by like 10 puppies or mm. kittens mm. like Keanu was in that one. Yeah, he's just, but he's a really nice guy and congratulations on being on YouTube for three years. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so it's, cool. You've made such awesome content and it's resonated with us. You're such a nice person and you've resonated, resonated with us as a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've congratulations. I think you've reso gunned with us so, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so much. Do you want to sign it out, Jay? Alrighty, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video on Nathie's channel. And uh, if you do want to check us out, we are at GamerJoob on pretty much every social media. But yeah, please send your love to Nathie. Leave a like. Congratulate him for three years. And uh, yeah, we'll see you whenever we do another collab. <laughs> Bye guys! That is honestly the nicest thing anybody has said about my channel ever. Um, as I say, I genuinely think that GamerTube is the best channel on YouTube and they're right. I don't expect them or anybody really to watch my videos and the fact that they do 
um, really does brighten my day. Whenever they watch one of my videos, um, it's actually quite gratifying knowing that I've got the GamerTube seal of approval <laughs> on a video, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but yeah, honestly, guys, I cannot thank you enough for, for saying those things. Um, it really, <laughs> it really has taken me aback a little. As somebody who's so negative about what they produce and thinking, ah, it's okay, um, and very rarely gets hyped about his own content. Um, that's really nice to hear. So thank you very much. So yeah, that is the end of my three years on YouTube video. I want to say a massive thank you to GamerTube and to Moshman for taking the time out of their day to record little segments for this. There will be links in the description below. There were cards with links to their channels as well back uh, in the video too. So yeah, make sure you check them out. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, uh, and consider subscribing if you want to see some gameplay from movie games, horror, weird games on a Wednesday, and of course, games that I'm playing for the first time on a Friday. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.